my pollen allergies are going absolutely local. Like, hola mi gente, hello beautiful people, what's up? A long time no see. Actually, not, not really. I've actually been doing pretty well with these uploads. I am so proud of myself. So today I wanted to come back kind of like a part two of my last video. So if you haven't seen my last video, I basically was showing you different work at home outfits. And I was showing you some outfits that you could wear that are cute and comfortable. But I understand, I actually was talking to one of my friends the other day and she was like, Greta, I loved your video, I think it was so cute. But like, I'm not gonna wear any of that. <laughs> and I was like, okay, por qué no, why not? And basically she was telling me, I mean, just realistically speaking, you're just, I mean, if you're at home, you just want to be comfortable and cozy. And I mean, I understand. I completely, I mean, I mean. So I thought, you know what? Okay, not really scrap that video, but kind of scrap that video. And let's make another video where I talk about basically things that you can wear, okay? But sweatpants edition. Um, I'm trying really hard to make my intros a lot shorter than they usually are because when I edit, I hate myself because I have so much footage to go through. But okay, gotta let's 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 cut it off. Start the video. Let's do it. So the first thing I'm gonna suggest is nothing crazy. It's probably you you might click out of this video after me saying this, but but a nice crisp white tee. I mean. I mean, I feel like this is kind of a step up from a hoodie because a hoodie drowns you out most of the time, unless it's like a fitted hoodie, but most of the time it's not really flattering, like not really that flattering. So I was like, you know what, a crisp white tee with some sweatpants, I feel like that's a very classic like college girl vibe, you know, um, throw your hair up in a bun, wear some glasses, girl. <laughs> Another suggestion, this one is actually one of my favorite ways to wear sweatpants is with a really cute cropped tank. Um, I guess it's not really a tank, I guess it's called like a strap, like a, you know what I'm talking about, you'll, you'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, but I feel like this is really cute, it allows you to, I mean you're at home, you know, no one's really watching you unless you're doing like a video conference where you have to be like at least professional from like the waist up and that's a little different. It is getting warmer so I feel like this is a really nice way for you not to get super warm because sweatpants are like super comfortable and everything but I sweat. Like every time I put sweatpants on I'm just like sweating bullets and I'm uncomfortable because of that so this is like a nice way to make sure that you don't overheat, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so my next suggestion is a graphic tee. I feel like, I mean, this might be another no-brainer, but when I was sitting down and thinking of all of the different ways that you could wear sweatpants, 20 different ways that you can wear sweatpants, may I add. <laughs> when I was playing this video, I was like, are there 20 different ways to wear sweatpants? But then the more I just like, when I started jotting them down, they just started flowing and I was like, oh my God, like this and like this and like that and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I don't know why I explain all of that to you, but a graphic tee, super, super comfortable, um, especially if it's like a nice, not super fitted, not super structured graphic tee, I feel like, I mean, yeah, it's just cute um, and you'll notice that basically most of these tops I am like tucking in to the sweatpants. I feel like that's a little bit more flattering because when something overflows like on top of the sweatpants, it kind of looks a little bit weird because the sweatpants are already large. So recommend tucking it in. So this one is another one that I actually do wear a lot when I wear sweatpants. It is um, a long sports bra. So a long sports bra, I feel like I mean, if you live at home, maybe you don't want to be pr prancing around your house with like just a sports bra. I mean, if you live at home, I mean, if you don't live with your parents or don't live with your family, like that's cool. So I like to opt for like a longer sports bra. I feel more comfortable in this, obviously. 
Um, and it's just really cute. It's almost like a tank top, but it's a little bit, it's kind of a little bit tighter. Um, and it's a really nice contrast. I feel like that's super important with sweatpants is to balance the sweatpants out. That's like my number one tip is to balance the sweatpants out with something a little bit more fitted on the top. So that's a really nice way to balance it out because the sweatpants can kind of overwhelm you, especially if you're petite, like a sister over here. I might actually take my glasses off even though I'm blind because I keep slipping so because I'm sweaty and now I can't see I have all my notes in here by the way which is my bullet journal love her she's great so the next look I wanted to talk about was a frilly top this one was actually one of the ideas that came um, kind of unexpectedly because I was like okay how else could you wear sweatpants? But I feel like a frilly top, especially, this is very specific, I know. A cropped frilly top. Yes, I don't know how many people have cropped frilly tops in their wardrobe, but I feel like it kind of gives the, um, the whole outfit a little bit of more movement. It kind of plays off of the fact that sweatpants are a little bit more tomboyish. So the frilly top is just like girly and it's like, oh my God, is she tomboyish? Oh my God, is she a girly girl? I mean, I don't know. Another thing that you can do is just throw on a simple black tee. A white tee, I mean, that is just classic, but a black tee can kind of slim you out because like I said, sweatpants tend to be baggy and I don't know, I feel like black looks great on anybody. It goes with any anything, so whatever color your sweatpants are, I mean, it'll most likely look good and just can't go wrong, can't go wrong with a black tee. A jean jacket is another one of my favorite ways to wear sweatpants. I just feel like, obviously the sweatpants are super relaxed, but the jean jacket is a little bit more fitted, it has a little bit more structure to it, so it gives the outfit kind of more of a it takes it away from the loungy side of outfits into more daytime, I'm getting things done type of attitude, you know what I'm saying? And if someone calls you on a video chat, I mean like they won't even know. They won't even know what's happening below the camera. Okay, so if pulling off a jean jacket directly like on top of your skin <laughs> is kind of uncomfortable because I know some people don't like that jean material, so if you're one of those people, then you can just throw on a hoodie underneath your jean jacket and girl, girl. That's like street fashion chic, okay? Wait, correction. <laughs> Wait, actually the, the, the sweater that I'm wearing is not a hoodie because it doesn't have a hood technically, but it's basically the same thing. I mean, basically. Off the shoulder tops, love them. They are so great. Uh, I just feel like they're really cute. Um, they're called bandeau tops. Bandeau, I think. I say, this happens every video. Every video I talk about these types of shirts and I never remember what they're called. I think it's bandeau, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but these tops are really cute. I feel like it gives the outfit a little bit of interest. It makes it a little bit different because you're not just wearing a regular t-shirt, you're not just wearing a hoodie, but you're wearing like a, I don't know, just like something different. It also lets you show off a little bit of skin because again, sweatpants cover your whole body. So especially now that it's getting warm, it's a really nice way to not get like super hot and sweaty like me right now. Continuing on that theme of giving your outfit a little bit of, you know, a little bit of interest, uh, one shoulder tops are really cute. I don't know why I tapped to my elbow. Also, is this like still in focus? I can't see. Yeah. So it's kind of like, oh, she's just wearing a shirt. Oh, is that a, is that a one shoulder shirt? Oh my God. You know, a little bit of interest. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so if you really want to be as cozy as possible and you're like, Brenna, I'm not gonna wear a jean jacket, I'm not gonna wear one shoulder top, I'm not gonna wear off the shoulder top, then um, have you considered maybe wearing like a hoodie? Okay, if you wear a hoodie or a sweater or something like that on top of your sweatpants, try to find one that kind of cinches in at the waist. I have this one from Zara. I love it because it's a little bit different. It has this really cool neckline. It has really cool sleeves. It has like wording on the sleeves. If you're like me and you just feel like you do not look good in uh, sweatpants and a hoodie, then try like a sweater or a hoodie that cinches in. 
that's how you do it. So another suggestion that I have for you is to change the fabric, okay? So if your sweatpants are like a cottony material, then try to wear something on top that is not the same material as your sweatpants. So you can try something like silk. I love mixing fabrics. I feel like mixing fabrics is really cool, it's really fun, and it's very editorial. Mix it up and kind of do the unexpected and wear something that is like you know? Okay, so we talked about graphic tees, we talked about white tees, we talked about black tees, we talked about all the tees, but we didn't talk about a patterned tee. So pattern tees, what I basically mean is just to find a t-shirt that is, that just has a pattern on it. So the one that I'm wearing is from Zara. I wear this one all the time because I just, I don't know, I, I is, is leopard or cheetah print even still in? I really, I, I really don't know. Your sweatpants are most likely a solid color, so if you change it up on top and wear a pattern, I feel like that just brightens up the whole look and makes it look super just refreshing, you know? Like a glass of water, like a, like a glass of wine. This outfit is like a glass of wine, you know? The 90s never hurt nobody. Okay, so I feel like you can throw on a tube top with sweatpants and you'll just feel like you're part of the Backstreet Boys. I mean, that's literally how I felt when I when I threw this outfit on. I wasn't even thinking about that and I threw it on and I just, my first instinct was to do, was just dance. I was like, I am one of them now. Like, I am one of them. I don't know, it's very 90s, it's very nostalgic. The tube top with like the baggy sweatpants. Again, I feel like it really, it just works because the top is fitted and the bottom is baggy, so I don't know. You just look like edgy, chic. So one of my favorite things that I've been doing lately while working at home, because I mean, honestly, working at home can be a little bit depressing when you're here all the time is to wear something that's bright. I mean, just like lighten up your mood, brighten up your day, brighten up other people's day because they have to look at you. So like, just wear something bright and fun and just, I don't know, enjoy your life through clothes, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like you can brighten up this look because my sweatpants that I'm wearing are just like a very dark, uh, a dark blue color. So just brighten it up, wear something that is fun. And I threw on this orange t-shirt. Um, the reason I chose orange is because orange and blue, they always look really good together. And just the orange color is just super bright, very fun, and yeah. Like I'm gonna be mentioning, or like I have mentioned a lot throughout the video is to just pair the baggy sweatpants with something a little bit tighter. So if you have an even tighter t-shirt, um, the one that I'm wearing is almost too tight. I struggled, but this one that I'm wearing is from Lazy Oaf, which is like this really fun uh, British brand. But um, yeah, I just feel like this top is really fun. It's kind of like baby doll like, and I really liked it with the sweatpants because it's cropped. So the shirt is cropped and cropped with sweatpants because most of the time sweatpants are high waisted or you can kind of like pull them up a little bit. So things that are cropped, again, very a lot more flattering than things that are longer. And again, if they're longer, just tuck them in and you're good to go. Another thing that you can do is because sweatpants are very casual. As we all know, they're very, very casual. They're like the epitome of casual. Um, you can wear something a little bit classier on top. So I threw on this shirt from Anna Other Stories. It's like this higher, I don't know what the exact name of the neck neckline is, but it's it's kind of like just a higher neckline and it's very flattering. It kind of elongates the body a little bit because since I'm a little shorty, you know, I'm not very tall. Um, sweatpants can kind of cut my legs off a little bit, so I had to actually roll them up. Um, I should have shown you that. I mean, well, you know how to roll up some pants, okay? I don't have to show you that. Another thing that I recommend is to throw on a bodysuit. So, yes, the problem with tucking things in into sweatpants is that sometimes, you know, you raise your arms, you, you know, throw it back, you bend over, whatever it can kind of roll up a little bit. So if you wear a bodysuit, she's not going anywhere. I mean, you can do cartwheels, you can dance your heart out, you can you can reorganize your whole house, like do whatever, your shirt will stay tucked. Honestly, you know what? I feel like a pair of heels with this look could be a look. Can you imagine it with like sweatpants and then a bodysuit and then heels? 
So I know a lot of you are like, you know what? I want to wear my sweatshirt, Greta. I want to wear my sweatshirt. Okay. You can wear your sweatshirt, but just make sure it either, like I mentioned earlier, it ties in the front or it's cropped. I feel like cropped sweatshirts can't go wrong. I've seen so many girls on Instagram uh, lately just, you know, doing their at home, working from home, and they're just like in their cropped t-shirts or their cropped uh, sweatshirts and their, or their sweatpants. And honestly, it's real cute. I feel like cropped sweatshirts great way to show off your figure they don't swallow you up so you don't look like a little marshmallow unless you want to be a marshmallow I mean you can do what you want maybe you have a t-shirt that you really want to wear with your sweatpants or that you usually wear your wear, <laughs> that you usually wear with your sweatpants but it's a little bit baggy and maybe I made you feel bad about it now after you watch this video um, but you can do this little trick that I have which is you like tuck it in this, is, this sounds kind of weird, but you tuck it in under your bra or your sports bra, whatever you're wearing underneath. And I don't know, it gives this really cool like folded over cropped look. Or you can obviously just make it a knot in the center. And yeah, it's really cute. You can obviously, you know, don't have to listen to me. You can just wear your baggy t-shirt and your baggy sweatpants and just look like a cute little marshmallow and that's cute still. But, um, but yeah, so I hope that helped you those are all 20 looks i cannot believe i found 20 ways how of how to wear sweatpants i am straining my eyes i cannot see myself anymore the camera looks like a little blob so enjoy being a little blob like me in your sweatpants and uh, i will see you very soon adios bye